Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss about multiplexing or maxing. In a short, we can call max. Also, we will describe about the demultiplexing or remax. Here, I will take a function and give a name it as a max and remax. And language is ladder. Here, in this empty network i will add a empty box and maxing function name it as a max demultiplexing function name it as a dmax so here i will write it as a max here so this is a multiplexing or maxing function actually what is the multiplexing or maxing function maxing function is that that combine the multiple input to a single output only single output and which input line which input will go to uh, output that defined by the selector line also called it as a index here k is our index this multiplexing is used multiplexing demultiplexing used in telecommunication networking but why we are using in PLC? Yes, this is required also for the PLC communication from one PLC to another PLC. As per my experience, I have used maxing and demaxing in PLC program that for taking data from the Atlas Copo compressor controller over CAN network. That Compressor controller gives the data to only one address but to that one address um, controller gives the multiple data compressor output data output pressure output temperature also motor winding temperature several data it gives the only in a single register from the plc to controller we have to give the request value by using the max and data received from the controller to plc and that need to segregate to different data as a pressure temperature or winding temperature by using dmax so here we will use as a DM. here we will use K as a index and here we will use the request data to controller. I will add a data block that is give name it as a max dmax db. Okay. Here as we are use the maxing demaxing by two method one is plc another is hmi so here i will you write as a max using plc so it is a structure data type struct okay in that struct data type will use will define or declare the data as max function index index and that data type is integer why we can give a data type as a you can see here uint w character date word or mpc data type so here we will use it as a integer okay unsigned integer uint okay and here you can give the data value as a integer or a real here you can give data as an integer double integer or okay so for data request data to atlas copo controller we have sent the integer value so here we will use the integer data that max in one zero as a pressure request value pressure request value and it is a integer okay then max in 1 
outlet temperature and that request value also integer now if you read the uh, data total run hour or temperature winding temperature that also some other request value that request value predefined in controller if that value is matched with the request value then the data uh, perspective data will send to plc okay, winding one winding one temperature okay now i will write it a data that marks out that is a combined single output from the max function okay here i will plot the data block okay now drag and drop okay and here it is in zero in one i will take another input okay if you if you want to receive if you want to receive more winding then you can here you can insert more input from by using start here is another input called the else else you can give a one of that value or you can give another value that if the input k value is when the k value is zero the input i n zero will goes to out when k value is one the i n one will goes to out so when k value is not matched with that input more than that like three four five six that time the else value input from else below goes to out below okay we'll give a fixed below like 99.0 okay or any 99 okay and here we'll give the output max out now we'll simulate load okay now see it's not going monitoring because maximum the max circuit is not that function is not calling main ob1 so i'm calling this one again download okay now see the all the value is zero index value is zero output value is zero but it's taking the output value is zero it's taking the output from i n in not value input zero because of the index value is zero if the here i will monitor and if the predefined value for the pressure in uh, atlas copper controller that 100 that when the 100 request value from plc to controller then the controller will give to plc as a pressure value so for pressure request it is think that it is a 100 for outlet temperature it is 200 for the winding fast winding temperature it is 301 now we can see that index value is zero and because of index value zero it is taking the output from in not to max out and that max out is a thing it is a single register value can register value and that is going to the plc uh, sorry atlas copper controller only one address and by this address only we are giving the multiple request for data received from controller now we are giving input in index as a one so output as a 200 that means it is request for the outlet temperature now if you give the two so it is 
going request for the 301 means winding one temperature if you give 3 that means it is out of the range here using the multiple input but that multiple input up to index 2 but the index value is now 3 so it is taking the else input else value to max value ok in this way we are requesting the data from the atlas copy now i will insert here i will branching then insert a empty box and give a dmax de max okay this is a dmax function dmax function is just opposite of the max function that is it has a one input and one selector or you can call it as a index and it will give the output to multiple output uh, as per the index value from the single input so when i will here okay here as an index okay here i will write this as a d max d max in d max in data okay and uh, d max out zero and it is a pressure pressure actual pressure from the atlas copper controller d max out out one that is the temperature outlet temperature on uh, temp here d max out two this is win one okay now I will just drag and drop and outlet pressure I will add another ok else below here d max else ok ok now I will download it again as you think that it is a receipt from the atlas copo but there are another parameter we need to send to the atlas copo that are not described here when i i will make a video for canvas communication that time i will describe now the data pressure is 100 request 200 301 and dmax in is now okay dmax in is now suppose the pressure is 5.6 bar 5.6 bar here uh, we have to give a uh, dmax is uh, real value because the come from the real value or it it can as an integer value but we need to make it integer to real but here i am showing by using the data type real okay now download again set it as a hundred two hundred three hundred one and remarks out here if the in request here you can see the max out request is now 100 so it is request to the controller as a 
uh, pressure so it will send from the controller to PLC as a pressure thing it is a 5.6 bar 5.6 bar so it uh, 5.6 bar it showing as a 6 because it is a it is a integer here I have to set it as a real now you can see it is showing 5.6 it is not converting real to integer now if you here now if you set the index is 1 and it is request to the controller as a temperature outlet temperature thing the outlet temperature is 75 sorry 75 or 76 now it's going to outlet temperature 76 now if the value is 2 so it request for 301 if the dmax input is now 90 as a winding temperature it is now going to winding temperature 90 by this way maxing and demaxing function is work in next video i will make the maxing in a hmi how we can use the maxing function in hmi we will describe in next video